cramping during a marathon or during any race that you participate can be a very painful experience and it happens more often than you think. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Victor Ruscaino, I'm a high performance coach. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do we minimize our chances of cramping. I remember my first experience with cramping during a marathon was actually when I did my first marathon. I was running pretty fast and everything was going fairly well until about mile 18, I hit the wall. Like most people refer to as hitting the wall. It was, for me, it was at mile 18 and I stopped and I started cramping everywhere. Uh, but it started with the calves and then the quads and all of a sudden my whole body was cramping and people on the sidelines were saying, hey, just keep moving, keep moving. It only gets worse if you stop. So I did that and it took about five minutes, but very painful. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to finish the marathon, but I did. I finished the marathon and then about 30 minutes after I finished the marathon, I started cramping again. And again, it was very painful. I realized that the main reason why I cramped was I was running way faster pace than I was prepared for. So if I was gonna say, tell anybody, one of the things that you can do to prevent cramping during a marathon would probably be to train well, to prepare yourself for a marathon, and then stick to the pace that you trained for. That way you don't over exhaust your muscles and you're less likely to experience that cramping. And then at number two, I'm gonna put hydration, but it's very important to practice a hydration habit all of the time, not just when you're running or when you are racing, but on a regular everyday basis, drink liquids regularly, consistently, and also maybe take some form of electrolytes. A lot of runners nowadays are trying or experimenting with Pedialyte because Pedialyte has those plenty of those electrolytes and it doesn't have the sugars that maybe some of the Gatorades or other forms of hydration have. So that's a good source. Uh, the other thing I want to mention when it comes to hydration is that when we reach the age of 50 and older, the signals of thirst start to wear down. All right? I'm calling it wear down, but basically we don't, we're not as sensitive to those signals when our body needs to be hydrated. We can go much longer without drinking water or without feeling the need to hydrate. So it's very important that if you are over the age of 50, just make it a habit to continually stay hydrated because if you wait until you you're thirsty, it might be a little bit too late. And then the next one I'm going to mention is consulting with your doctor to make sure that you have all the minerals or vitamins necessary that you're not deficient on anything. You want to make sure that your potassium, magnesium, and any other vitamin or mineral that your body might need that you're not very deficient on it and can cause these crampings or could cause other problems during your racing. Now, the next one I have is stretching. And again, making the habit of stretching consistently all of the time, but especially before and after your race. There's been studies that show that keeping those muscles flexible uh, is a good way to minimize your chances of cramping. So yeah, those are the four of them that I have today is one, make sure that you stick to your pace and don't overexhaust yourself. Get the habit of hydrating regularly, taking plenty of fluids, taking plenty of electrolytes. Consult with your doctor, making sure your levels of potassium and magnesium and all of those are well and the numbers are well and last but not least is stretching picking up the habit of stretching before and after your runs or any exercising and just a regular habit maybe yoga stretching any of those are going to help in that prevention and i'm going to have a three-part series this part was mostly about the prevention the next one is going to be on what to do during your marathon if you experience cramping what to do while you're having that experience and on my third part is going to be what to do after you cramp or after your race because many times that's when many athletes experience cramping is you're done with your race it could be half an hour it could be hours later and the cramping begins what to do then okay I hope you found these tips valuable if you like what you heard please go ahead and subscribe and also you can get a free 16 week training plan that if you practice it well it's going to prevent you your cramping so please download the free 16 week training plan just click on the link below go to my website and download it for free thank you for listening until next time please stay triumphant